messed up guys so you've read the title you want to know why like why did i buy the Gixxel 1000 and um i didn't the end okay no i did uh well kind of you saw the reveal of the Gixxel 600 yeah i had that bike for three weeks i think and i loved it absolutely loved it uh filmed like two videos on it and that's it didn't really get to do anything exciting and um i had the r3 up for sale and that 600 was meant to be kind of my commuter bike it was cheap yeah it had a li tiny little bit of damage on it but it was cheap everything was cheap insurance the lot right get me to and from work nice and easy simple gimbals yeah do not i might be a bit cheeky here see if i can pull over in front of the wheel and not get arrested look at that pretty nice i will get back on and huh what are you doing? i thought i'd have a little rest showing the bike and stuff okay um yeah i will get back on and ride we will go somewhere don't worry we'll huh? go we'll go somewhere in a bit okay. i just thought Bentley in the background and a wheel and stuff. So yeah, why why did I buy it? Yes, high vid high vis. <laughs> high beams are on because that bulb's actually blown. Um so I've gotta do that. But there's a there's a few bits I need to do to it, but we'll go on to that. What so what what, what happened? So I had the R3 up for sale. I bought that 600 get me back to and from work. Everything was happy days, it was all insured, ready to go. That was going to be the bike. Honestly, that's, that's I had that planned. And then all of a sudden, a guy messaged me, do I want to swap my R3 for a Gixxel 1000? And I was like, you mm, joking? Like, that's at least £2,000 more expensive than the R3 would be. And he was like, yeah, um, I thought I could ride it on my A2. I can't, so I need an A2 bike. Your R3 looks perfect. Do you want to do a straight swap? I was like, okay. Where's the bells coming from? I didn't think there was a church down here. Um, I was like, okay, show me some details, send me some stuff, so I know you're legit. He sent me it, it looked all good, did the check on the number plate and all that. Oh, that's where it's coming from. <laughs> that's cute. Um, and, yeah, it all seemed legit, so I was like, right, okay. If you really want to do this, you pay for a courier to get your bike and bring it to me. If your bike's any good... I will send mine to you. Um, obviously, there was lots of trust involved because I could have just kept his bike. Um, but obviously, the guy that was taking my his bike to me wouldn't do that. But he was like, "Okay, done." So he did, and here it is. I swapped my R3 for a Gixxel 1000. Legit. <laughs> and yeah, there's a little bits and bobs that need to do in it. Obviously, it's got the custom paint. Uh, SP Engineering, which are on Froom, which is awesome. RNG, everything, which I love. ASV levers, oh, love them. Um, whatever the lights, the super bright stuff. Carbon bits and bobs, I put them on. I got a few things I need to do to it. Um, but yeah, I now have a Gixxon 1000, and I love this shininess. It's cool. So, yeah, I'll, um, you've obviously seen the first ride of it. This is just telling you why I got it, and I didn't pay a penny. Other than, other than shipping my bike to him and him shipping it to me, that's all I've paid. Like, other than that, I swapped this for my R3. I think that's a pretty good deal. So, let me turn around. And we'll go somewhere. I'll turn around! Let's put it into A mode. Because that's where all the fun's at. And we'll go for a quick spin. We'll go somewhere we've I've been before many times. It's just the bath halves on today. And I really don't want to go into the into town in bath. Because it's going to be ram shack of the faculty fucked. It's got a lot of miles as you can see. It's got almost 57,000 miles. Um, but it's all in order. And everything's working. I'm going to do... I'm going to stay on top of my maintenance as much as possible. I'll uh, see if I can get the valves checked and everything at some point. 
um, soon as. Go on, go on, go, 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 go! Yeah, um, get the valves done and all that, do an oil change. Just so then I'm on top of it, I know when it's been done. Like, I, I keep changing gears, just like I have a CF gear now, it doesn't need any more gears in first, first gear. It will do about 150 mile an hour in first gear. <laughs> That's all you need. <laughs> like, you don't need another gear. This is, it's got a lot of miles, but I'm going to be using it to get to and from work. Um, like, it's going to be great fun in the summer around the twisties. It's going to be amazing at the Isle of Man. <laughs> but obviously I've got the Supermoto. Still needs to get finished. Uh, we have some problems with the powder coating, but it's going to be finished. I promise. It's coming. I want it more than you guys do. Um, but as soon as I hear, that's going to be the main thing I take to the twisties because Cheddar's more like, that's Cheddar's my kind of twisty place, that's where we all go. And it's very, I don't say technical, but it's not, it's very um, tight corners. It's not like the snake in America where it's all slopey and stuff. Not all slopey, but you know what I mean. Whereas Cheddar's just like sharp corners, like, and I think a Supermoto, you'll, you, you can get so much more speed around something like that than you can a big lug of a, Jitsus 1K. Ooh, he's been fucked. Woo -hoo! That's fucked. There's a bit of the car. <laughs> um, so yeah, now this is the bike you'll see more of. Not that GX600, which I still have, but that's gonna go. Um, had a big surprise and that's what this was <laughs> it's, it's mental like it's absolutely mental I can't believe I have a Jixxer 1000 well I know it's a short and sweet video but I mean that's what you needed to know why, why, why I got this and that's all the reasons like it, it, there was no reason not to go for it in the end and it turns out that this is definitely the best bike I've ever had, hands down. Like, I love my Duke, um, but this is a whole different kind of love. Like, <laughs> this thing's insane. <laughs> it's just, it's just amazing. Like, it's, I can flat foot it as well, both feet flat on the floor. <laughs> which is not something I can do <laughs> a lot of the time and that's where I actually film my M4 exhaust on the R3 there you go yeah that's um, pretty much everything I'm just going to ride around now I'll keep recording just in case anything happens but there are some of your answers que answers questions <laughs> your questions answered uh, if you have any more questions leave them down in the comments uh, if there's enough questions I might do a q and I don't know um, but yeah, if you're excited to see this thing at the Isle of Man and track days and I don't know, maybe I'll go touring on this thing. Be interested. Get some more miles up on it. See if we can get it to 100,000 miles. Ooh, be interesting. It can be done. Jixxers are, well, Suzuki. Anyway, they're uh, reliable motherfuckers. Yeah, I will, um, I'll see you in the next one. I'm staying up to date with all these videos now, so you'll see more and more, hopefully. And, uh, yeah, subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next one. Roll to outro. Or music. Music first. Hey! Should we do a little bit of montage first? Yeah, we'll do the montage first. So don't roll the outro, roll the montage. And then the outro.